Hey guys, how's it going? Chairs back again with another episode of Mission Maracanã here on Xbox One. It's episode number 15, and we're opening three packs to start the episode off to reward ourselves for winning our previous group game. Now, as always, if you want to get yourself some Ultimate Team coins, you can open some World Cup packs of your own, or maybe some packs on the normal Ultimate Team to get yourself an International Man of the Match. Then, of course, check the link in the description down below. It will take you to FootCoinKing.com, and if you use the code Chez C H E S in uh, in the coupon code section at checkout, you'll save yourself an extra. 5% off as well, so make sure you go ahead and use that code to get yourself the extra discount, but we actually got a decent pull in that first pack we picked up uh, Danny and uh, very pleased to get that, unfortunately in the second pack, not really too much to rant and rave about Ben Foster, the best player, won't be used because of course we've got Manuel Neuer uh, Akin Fayev and, uh, and Hugo Lloris as our three goalkeepers but a goalkeeper that will be used if we uh, eventually use an African team is uh, Vincent Enyama, very very good uh, goalkeeper there of course from uh, St Etienne, I think he is uh, is a domestic team, of course, Nigerian. They played against uh, they played against Bosnia last night. But uh, the final team we're going to go into the next game with for the final group game is in fact uh, a, quite a strong one. Actually, we've got Edin Dzeko starting up top again, coming against coming up against a team that is particularly strong though. Uh, upgraded international man of the match, Neymar left wing. All three of his front three are upgraded international man of the matches. In fact, Neymar, Luis Suarez, and Juan Cuadrado. He's got a midfield three of uh, Arturo Vidal. Javier Pascherano, uh, Mascherano, and uh, and Haldi Maria. It's a very very strong side. We get off to a good start. Eden Dzeko twisting and turning in the box. Not necessarily got the quickest of feet, but he has got the strength to hold players off. It's a decent save by his goalkeeper. But Marquisio is going to whip the corner in, and it's going to be Dzeko again. Beats his man at the front post, heading op. That's a fantastic header when we take ourselves a one nil lead in the 28th minute. So we're looking to uh, maximise our potential outcome from the group stage so that we can get the maximum uh, coin boost from it. Of course, you get two and a half thousand coins for. Uh, for winning the uh, your group and uh, progressing through to the next stage, of course the knockout rounds you uh, you go through for first or second, and Candreva somehow manages to hold off uh, the defender there, race past him and get the ball into the back of the net. I wasn't expecting to be able to score there. I just kind of hit shoot in hope more than expectation that we were actually going to be able to create a chance there. And uh, Marquisio eventually is going to have a shot from this effort. It's going to come back to him from Johan Kabai. 30 yards out, gives it a whack. Just doesn't quite dip in time. Falls just past the line on uh, the wrong side and unfortunately Edin Dzeko can't quite get his finish away properly and we stay at 2-0. We're into the 90th minute now. He brought Sergio Aguero on but Neymar, fantastic skill to get past the defender and a great finish into the bottom corner. To give him uh, a consolation goal more so than anything else, we are in fact going to win at the final group stage game. 2-1 and we get all nine points. We'll open three more packs to, uh, to of course, reward ourselves for winning that group game. If uh, Of course, if you've forgotten, we, use, we open one pack in the group stage for a defeat, two for a draw three for a win and then as we move through the knockout stages we go one pack two pack three pack four pack for uh, however far we get in the knockout rounds but of course as i mentioned before two and a half thousand pounds or two and a half thousand coin in fact uh, bonus for winning the group stage and we're going to open three packs of course if you missed anything else on the channel over the weekend then feel free to check the channel page for it unfortunately on our guarantee player pack we don't get anyone that we are actually going to use copper the ivorian goalkeeper isn't good enough to uh to hold down a first team place in an african side but uh, there was my player went up earlier on the this afternoon and we definitely need some feedback on that because we have a loan offer in whilst we're at Bayern Munich. In this second pack we actually get a very very good uh, goalkeeper for a South American side. Julio Cesar will go straight into a starting lineup. The South American side is getting stronger and stronger. Only a couple of uh, good players away now from going back to that side. We are very very close to, uh, to giving it a crack with the South Americans again. Unfortunately 82 rated is a good uh, rating, but unfortunately it's Thiago Motta and we don't necessarily need him in that holding role. We have plenty of players that can fill that position quite adequately enough in the European team. And then in the, th in the third pack, it's just absolutely nothing that we're going to use whatsoever. Zussi, Graham Zussi, right mid from uh, the States. Unfortunately, not good enough to hold down any sort of first-team support whatsoever. Olic is in the starting lineup again for uh, for this first knockout round. We've rotated in Ogbonna as well. Verena is now on the right-hand side as well. So uh, we're playing again a very, very strong side. Danny in the starting lineup again. Come on, coming up against the guy that uh, he's got Uruguay as his default team. But he actually has a South American side again. Upgrade... Uh, Again, upgraded Luis Suarez up top. Alongside Luis Muriel with uh, Angel Di Maria sat just behind them. Pace on the wings with Marc Gonzalez and Antonio Valencia. A very, very uh, strong front five. 
and then Luis Gustavo and I think it's Riaz, the uh, the holding mid from Uruguay, I'm not too sure, might be mistaken in uh, the holding roles, he's got uh, Martin Caceres at the back as well, so he's got a lot of pace at the back and we don't have a lot of pace through the middle but Avisa Olic does have the strength to hold off the defender and then the power in the shot to get the ball past the goalkeeper, so we do take an early 1-0 lead, but he's going to come back at me, Luis Suarez racing away here, plays the through ball looking for Luis Muriel of course got a lot of pace up top with uh, the upgrades to Luis Suarez and Muriel he's going to try and stand the ball up and out of nowhere comes Antonio Valencia racing in from that wide right mid row to head him back on level terms in the 28th minute. As you can see at half time, he too brought Sergio Aguero on, and uh, Luis Muriel was the replacement. So he's got uh, Sergio Aguero and uh, upgraded Luis Suarez up top. But he makes a defensive mistake here. His goalkeeper recovers it first time around. Verena gets onto the ball, though. I'm going to turn back inside to absolutely send two defenders the wrong way. All three of them run into each other. Verena opens up the space and pops the ball into the back of the net to give us a 2 1 lead. In the opening five minutes of the second half. But again, he was going to come back at me. Mark Gonzalez finds a good ball to Angel Di Maria. He's going to find a nice little through ball there to Sergio Aguero. Not really too sure where Ogbonna was going. I was particularly disappointed with that as we headed in towards the end of the game. Looking like we were going to get an easy passage into the quarterfinals, but unfortunately we paid back. So I made a couple of changes. Stefano Sarawi comes on, and uh, interestingly, we both brought on uh, upgraded international man of the match, Alexis Sanchez. There was my Sanchez who was going to get the chance in, uh, in stoppage time. Kandreva plays him over the top. He's in with space. And Alexis Sanchez rifles the ball into the back of the net to round out the victory. And uh, that was like the 93rd minute of one minute added on. So really, really right at the death. And in fact, he wasn't even going to let the game end out. We were going to get another rage quit. So we get... Uh, not all three points. We get passage through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup competition. So we'll be going, we'll be going, we'll be doing all over the place today, aren't we? We'll be doing that in tomorrow's episode. That will, of course, come come to you tomorrow night at 7:30. If you don't know what and when I upload, there is a schedule in the description and on the about tab on the channel page as well, so you know exactly what and when to expect videos from me. There's my player, as I mentioned earlier on today. There'll be Chelsea career mode again tomorrow. There was an episode of this yesterday. If you missed it, there's an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen to take you to it if you want subscribe to the channel already then feel free to do so links in the top right and in the description feel free to drop the video a like and you'll also find links in the description to my twitter and instagram as well and of course to uh, to foot coin king to grab yourself some ultimate team coins but as of now that is going to bring all of today's videos to a close thank you very much for watching unfortunately in uh, in the guaranteed player pack we don't pull anything that we're going to use it's 67 right back uh, from Switzerland, Lang won't be getting used in any of the teams we have, unfortunately for him, but that's going to round this out. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with Chelsea Career Mode and more RTG, and uh, I'll see you next time.